folks, welcome back to another lesson we're doing Rhinoceros by Smashing Pumpkins and this was a request by Jared. Jared everyone, thanks indeed for this request Jared. Cracking tune and probably one of the easier Smashing Pumpkins tunes to play apart from the solo that's uh, not terribly easy. But we're going to tackle it all. So let's crack on with the um, tones and tuning. Uh, standard tuning, which is nice. And you're going to need a flanger and like a big muff type pedal for, for this one and a nice clean tone. So clean tone. And I'm using neck pickup. You really need two settings. You actually need two flanges really, but you can do it with two settings if you're gonna like record it. Setting one is quite a fast sort of. You can even go slightly faster than that rate actually because there's a fair bit going on now if you change it to this slightly less washy that comes on in the and also in the And dirt tone, so I'm going into bridge pickup and I'm using the Hungry Beaver. Really cool big muff style circuit that one. So let's crack on with the first riff. So the main guitar part is. round and round right so you're playing octaves and it's you know you don't play the full octave you play you just sort of catch that seventh note there and then you've got two full down up and then you hit it again and slide up two frets and then you play down down up Right, pretty straightforward. So that goes round and round. That formulates part of the verse riff as well. We'll come to that in a sec. Then chuck your flanger on. I've actually got a little bit of reverb on this pedal as well. And then we go. Turn the flanger off. So um, basically, an E major. Or you could just play the top part, top three notes, and then. So I know I leave my first finger there, and I just add either my second or my third. Then you've got a hammer on. You could. You could um, pick that note there where you slide up to the fourth fret on the G. Or. And just slide it right without picking. Up to you. And then we go. Seventh fret. Followed by two open strings, B and E. And the pattern continues throughout. So you're going to do for what, an eighth note and then two sixteenth notes. So it's. Okay, so that's the first part. Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go through all the notes because we'll be here all day and you've got the tab. Then we have. That's just a hammer on, 9 to 11. Up to the 13th. Then another rundown from the 14th fret. Back up to the 13th. Then this little part to end. That's really cool, isn't it? Using my little finger to get to the fourth fret there. It's 
just be careful of the picking there. So that's pretty straightforward. Then we've got the verse part, some of which you already know. It goes like this. an overdub over the top we'll come to that let's just do this part first so the first bit you know that's the same first half but then you're going to do triplets 11 9 7 and then we go to this chord 10 9 mute 11 and you can also get in the open B and E so you're going to play so down down whack down whack down down up down okay that's the rhythm you're going to play there over the top this is happening with a slightly different flanger setting just that right Then you're into this part. Like that, right? So that's twice round with a little variation. So we go 12 to 14. This is um, uh, root on the A, and those are all octaves. 12 to 14. first bar okay and then we go all right I don't think I need to call it all out I'm just going to play it slowly for you one more time 12th fret to 14 Second time, a little bit faster. So you just replace the with a little, uh, you stay on the 11th fret basically. Back into time you play it though you cut that short by one bar uh, so and then you go straight into this C to G part right so we have so there you just strum out four chords right and then you go into this part So let's deal with that. We have C to G to D sus2 and then back around. So So down down, down, up, change, down, down, up, change, rest, down, down, off, off, <laughs> up, down, up. Anyway, it's easier if I play it. Like that, right, okay. And you play it around four times. The fifth time, you just play, again, you cut it short by one bar. Then you put your flanger on, and on the four and, so one and two and three and four. Little, 
little slide at the end there. So that part, it's an E sus4 to an E major basically. That there is one, two, hammer on, slide up to four. But you let it all ring out. And you got the e, open E string there, right, for three beats as well. Repeat that. Then you've got, um, same as before, I'm going to turn the flanger off. Same principle as the intro solo, right? But you're going up this time. And you're going to go 7, 9, 11, 13, 14, 16, and then slide up to 19. So you could, again, you could, if you've got enough volume, you can just slide up without the extra pick. That's pretty straightforward. Then we come down again. Is exactly the same as the intro part. Round the verse again. Second time, slight, slight variation. So that's down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up. A little bit of a gallop. Back to bridge pickup. And then hit your muff or your distortion pedal on and go. Which is the same as before, right? Just with, you know, more fun sounds. And again, going into the solo, you just play half of it. So you play. And the solo plays. Like that. So we've got basically in uh, A, with the little G in the bass there. So down, 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 da, down. Then we go to this, it's like a C, but you can put the fifth in the root. And a little whack and another little, uh, you know little percussive piece. Then we've got the solo. So the first part of the solo comes in on the second beat. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> little run like that, right? So we have again, three, four, one. I'm struggling to get that artificial harmonic, but it's there somewhere. Like that, but with an artificial harmonic. Got that going on, right? So, that little run. It's a full step bend and release and then back to the second fret. Up to the seventh fret on the B string. Three, four, one. You got that, right? That's a half step bend on the seventh fret on the B. And watch with the phrasing there, right? And then you've got this part. Fast stuff coming up, we slide up to the 15th fret, right? Or somewhere around there. And then you're gonna do this little lick. Something along those lines, right? So we have. 
play three of those quick. Don't worry if you don't get it, you know, exactly right, but try, aim for three. Then you do one here, which is the next string down, and then another one, the next string down. So. It's a really slow bend on the 16th fret, right? Then for the last few bars, we've got some cool bends going on. Got that going on, right? I think that's right. So we have 15th fret, kind of pre-bent and released. A very quick bend and release. Then you slide down 13, 12, hammer on, pull off. Some more bends, and then we have, I think it goes, I think you hear like a little noise here. And then you've got a bend, I think it's 21st up four. And then 18, 12, 18, and then another bend up there. Then we're into... We've got that going on, right? So it's... That's the same as before, but then we add in... So we're combining two earlier parts, right? But the second bar. You do a little half step bend and release on the 11th fret there. Um, and then we've got. Subtle variation, so we're going, um, it's a, an E power chord, but with the open B and E string. Second time round we have. back into that again you already know that um, and then you do that eight times the ending then goes so down down rest down okay then there's some overdubs as well which go first part right so it comes in after the D sus2 right so we have na, 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 okay <laughs> that comes in really nice it comes in on the um, forehand and then you bend up to half a step for the first beat of the next part just subtle variation there, then we go straightforward then the last part goes I think that just goes around twice so we have a d5 basically like a d5 with some sus4 action 
that stuff, isn't it? But... So just watch that timing there, because it's three semiquavers. Okay. And that's just all eight notes. And then at the end you play... Which is a D sus two, but you also include the A. And that, folks, is it. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.